Hey everyone, I'm Zach Mueller, and this is Kristen Gerhardt, and currently she's not talking because she sounds like Betty Boop. I think she has a sickness of some sort. I didn't, I didn't ask, honestly. Um, logo? Can we do the logo right now? Thank you all for coming back once again. Anyway, Kristen's gonna get into the news. Sorry, I had to ramble, uh, but she doesn't want to, so it's a win for me, a big lose for you. All right, take it away. All right, guys, let's get into the news. Now, I apologize, I got laryngitis this week, so I have kind of a croaky voice. So if yeah. you can't really. I'm gonna hear raise me, this up. It's it's way too low. We can barely hear you over at YouTube land, so I'm just gonna put this right there. So have fun, buddy. Ow. Hi. This past Monday, we posted a podcast from Jared and Adam from Tannen's Magic Shop in New York City. Tannen's is one of the most historic magic shops in America, and every summer they host a magic camp for young magicians. If you want to win free registration, send an email with your name to this email here. So do it now because registration ends in one hour, noon, today. The winner will get free registration to the camp, a $1,200 value. 12 hundos. Better send that email. Takes two seconds, really. This past weekend, Jonathan Bame was in Las Vegas with Andre Jick and Michael James working on some new amazing projects. Late Sunday night, JB went on a tour of David Copperfield's private museum. Inside, David has the largest collection of Houdini props and perfectly preserved pieces from Alexander, Dante, Thurston, Doug Henning, and Robert Houdin. Check out Theory 11 on Instagram and Facebook to check out some top secret pictures from the museum. Derek Delgadio and Helder Guimara announced an upcoming performance in LA at the Magic Castle. Not many details have been released except the dates, June 6th through the 17th. These are two of the top card magicians alive, so if you're on the West Coast, make it happen. And I know we've mentioned this all before, but now it is finally here. Neil Patrick Harris's Magic Sauce episode of How I Met Your Mother entitled The Magician's Code. If you haven't checked it out already, do so immediately. And keep your eyes peeled for Ed Alonzo making a cameo in the episode. Well, that's all for the news this week. Let's throw it on over to Zach. Thank you, Kristen. Now let's get into the latest and greatest. Today, which should be Friday, depending on if you live overseas or what time you're watching this or if there's been a rift in the space-time continuum, we released a new effect by Matthew Beach. I kind of need to calm down. I set the beginning of my segment off on the wrong foot. I just I want to start over. I think we should do a clean slate, brand new thing, brand new segment, Cut right here. Matthew Beach just released a brand new download called Transcode. And I was going to try and describe it for you, but it's just too awesome. You have to watch it. Yep, just as ridiculous as the first time I saw it. You mean the first time we saw it? We both saw it. It was implied. Definitely go give it a look. I'm kind of obsessed. In our media section this week, we have two amazing new videos from Rick Lax, one of which this sorcery happens. I don't even know how that's a thing, but it is. And then his other video in which he counts a bunch. Counts a lot of cards. Count six, count seven, and now from the table, count eight. Now I'm 90% sure that Rick Lax actually does magic in this video but I, I couldn't tell you. By the time he started skipping three cards, I, I totally tuned out. We're gonna skip the next three, and then deal four, deal five, deal six, yeah, Rick, deal seven. Rick, you gotta there's stop. There's eight, you gotta stop there's counting nine. Cards, buddy. Let's cut back to the actual magic video. There we go. That's magic. That's more my type of stuff. Now, Rick, if you're watching this, I actually do really like your card counting video. It's just that your Wes Anderson dreamy voice puts me in a state of complete unconsciousness and I can't pay attention to your magic. That's about it guys, been kind of a slow week for my segment, there are no new releases on The Wire this week, but definitely check out the media section, our forums, and our Saturday Night Contest in which you can win some awesome prizes. As for me, I'm gonna go watch Game of Thrones. Hey guys, Andre Jick here and welcome to this week's expose. Now this week we posted two cool pictures of historical artifacts to Instagram. And one of them is the mirror cuffs from Houdini. And the other is a new bicycle fan back that Guy Vernon himself used. Now both of these artifacts are found in David Copfield's warehouse museum here in Las Vegas. Now we've been working on the Rebel playing card design for quite some time. And we're finishing that up. 
but uh, what we haven't told you is that we're also releasing another deck of cards before then. Now I can't give away any details, but all I can say is they're going to be called, uh, well, starting with Mon and ending with Arcs. And uh, no one really knows what the design looks like, but uh, something like... Uh, they're going to be white backed and they're going to be infused with the gold. We're going to be printing them in very, very, very limited quantity, so get them while they last. So that's it for this week's news, and I'll see you guys next time. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, and the rest of the Theory 11 team, we hope you have an awesome week. We hope Kristen gets better. And we'll see you next Friday. Next Friday. See, I can do it a little bit. Don't speak. No. This is better when you don't speak.